You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I got to check out an item called Ziplinks. What is Ziplinks, you ask? Well, first, before we get to that, let me thank Blip Toys for sending this to me for free to show you on video today. The High Fly and Chain Reaction Fun Ziplinks. What's in the box? Well, let us see. Pretty excited about it. I like doing these kinds of uh, toys here. Let's see. One, two, three, and jam-packed. Let's see. All right. So let's start at the top because it looks like it gives us some good information here in this custom design box. Domino play with jumping action. Load, link, launch. So when you load them, it says squeeze down to load, link them, overlap to link, launch, insert, and press down to launch. Okay. Load them, link them, launch them. That's the goal here. I'm going to load them, link them, launch them. Hashtag ZipLinks, www.ziplinks.com. I'll put all that information in the description to aid us here. But it looks like the launcher is, of course, different than the other items. And then there's also this handy little card inside. Get started. Load, link, launch. Tip, overlap zip links with one another to link. Try these designs, okay? So they give us a little little uh, insight as to how we could set these up. There's also, looks like a ping pong in there. And uh, let's see, okay, so we have one high fly set. Uh, again, this is ages for six to 100 in case you missed that. Scan the code and watch me in action. You get one set here, domino play with jumping action. So it looks like there are, well, you can make up to a 30 inch set, includes 55 pieces of zip links. Okay, so lots of info here. The, the colored balls, the different colors here. You got red and yellow. The launcher's in red. You got times 28 of these little round things. I don't know what they are, but let's see. All right, so then we have a much larger set here. This is zip link jump up to 30 inches. Okay, can I zoom the camera out just a little? Yes. All right, triple tower blast set, high flying chain reaction fun, domino play with jumping action, one set. All right, this looks like you get a lot more in it. Many ways to link, connect all your links and towers to create and launch amazing displays. When not using, always keep your links in the open, non-loaded position to maintain proper function. All right, we'll have to take a quick look at these. Tower bases can be used individually or connected. All right, and it looks like they've loaded some goodies in here for me to to play with here so let's just clean this out here okay so it looks like the balls have a little wedge in them almost like a little pac-man and then we have blue okay i just want to squeeze one i just feel like okay so it looks like they squeeze this way they kind of will hold that position watch like that Okay, so they got some good kickback to them. Hear that? All right, all right, all right. So we got some yellow, some greens. We got one of the little launchers. This is the starter. Okay, before I even open a set, let me get the ones that they, the bonus ones. This looks like it's gonna take some time. So sit back, relax. You know, I can't just finish this in two minutes and move on. I need to really understand what's happening here. All right, there we go. I'll tell you what though, let me get this all out of here. Let me move these off to the side. And we'll come back and we'll focus on this right now. Okay, so there's that. I grabbed this just so we could see the little picture of the overlap. Now some of these are set and some of these are not. You can see the wide side. You can press on the wide side. It's not doing anything. Press on the close side, not doing anything. But as soon as you split the two, so you take the wide side and then you put that in and that's going to create the as that. Well, we will see. So it looks like you could just slide them in any direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, it, can you slide them this way once they're... Yes, you could slide them any way you want. From one end or the other. Now, how sharp of a turn can you make? So what's in here is a rubber band. You see it? It's connected from here to here. So maybe they give you extra rubber bands in the kit. Oh, I just dropped one. 
that uh, times 20 might have been extra bands in case the band breaks. So let's just see. Can we can we do it like a super right turn? Can you go that way? Now let's work it this way. Okay. We'll see what it takes to trigger it. I really I really don't know. I mean, how much effort, you know, like a domino one wrong move and it's all over. Is it like that with this? Oh, I see. So you could take the ball now and stick it right in the middle. It's got the little V in the cut of the ball, which fits right into the little channel on these. Let me show you an extreme close-up. Look at that. That fits right on there. So let's put this here. Let's put a ball here. Okay, then let's put this here, and it looks like I just press, and when I press, it's going to ignite the chain reaction. All right, here we go, and a one, and a two, and a three. Okay, all right, so, some of them snapped, some of them didn't, so I probably can't go on such a severe angle. Let's test this right now. So if it's like this, it's probably not going to be as good. So I can't do a 90 degree, or maybe I can. I showed in the picture. Maybe just the movement messed it up. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So my guess is, once you get them right, you shouldn't have an issue. Any of that. So let's just do a straight chain reaction. Not get too fancy. I'm always getting too fancy. There we go. That's a quick one. I guess, you know, if they if they slip apart, that's where you're going to have the issue. Okay, so let's just put these on here. Let's get this one on here. And then let's launch. Okay, here we go. Zip! Zippity links, zippity doo da, zippity links. Here we go. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Okay, all right. We've given them an extreme close up. Well, let me do this before I will pick up everything. I want to do a, a quick, slow down version. Edit it so we could see the actual reaction. Just straight on one reaction, and then I'll slow it down. And then we'll be able to watch it, and then I'll come back. So I'll do this, I'll show you in slow-mo, and then we can come back. All right, here we go. Okay, on to the set now. I have not seen any, I've not done any editing yet. But uh, it probably was pretty cool. All right, so packaging wise, they come in uh, these clear plastic bags with warnings. And it all comes in one bag. There's a little insert in here to keep it all tucked in and nice. I don't see any like tips and tricks, but uh, we will, uh, let's see, quick, easy, power and play attachment. Okay, 28 of the circles. That must, be, it has to be 28 of the bands. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's actually not a rubber band. What it looks like is a O-ring. These look more like an O-ring than a band. And there's a boomerang in there. I don't know what the boomerang is for. Oh, the boomerang is for replacing the rubber band. Okay. You know what? We have to figure this out. I don't want to pretend I just had one break and I'm and I'm helping. All right, here we go. Here how we do it. All right, so let's see. Attach power band before using. So you put the power band. All right, let's pretend 
Oh, you have to put them all on. Aha. Uh -huh. Nobody told me that. So the ones in the box were already together. So you put this on here. And they show this. Like this. Like this. Okay. Then they show this. And then it looks like it loops through. Like this. So that's why it's shaped like this. So you put that through there. And then pull it through. I'm not sure. That's what I think it is. And then you loop it on. Oh, I see. Okay. One. Okay, so now we know. So you open it. You go this one first. It looks like the wide open section first. It's really hard to tell from the picture, but it ends up through there second. Now there's a, like a, you can't go straight. You gotta go either left or right of that first little area. And then hook up and you're good. Okay, I have some work to do here. It wouldn't be fair for me to do all of these on video for you, but let's just see if I can speed this up. Let's see if I can get masterfully good at the hooking part. You know, I just like to challenge myself. Do you do that too? Okay, so now I'm getting masterfully worse at it. You just gotta kind of let me just try it one way, one time the other way, and see if it's easier. I'm gonna go against the grain here. Okay, so instead of going that way, go this way. Nope, that'll be harder. Okay, so you need the room to kind of wiggle. Yeah, so this is basically an orange O-ring. This is a two-person job. Like, someone can open it, hand it to you, and then you can do the next one. Yeah. So make sure you put someone to work. You gotta keep flipping the tool around from hand to hand to switch the hands. Apart. Wow, I was moving so fast, and then I had an issue. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna do a speed zip link setup. I'm gonna get them all open, get the band set, and I'm gonna see how fast I can do. Ten or whatever's left. Okay, now you see what I'm talking about. Now I know the opening is in all the same direction, so here we go. Now speed is of the essence. Ooh, I put the tool. Are you timing me? We'll call this the Zip Links Challenge. Kind of gives you an idea, you know, before you can actually start playing with all your Zip Links, how long it's going to take you. It's the switching of the hands that's key. I had that one turned the wrong way. I've lost valuable seconds. Delayed. 
Delay of game. That was the fastest one so far. They give you extras. Okay, three more and I am done. I'm wondering if I should do one of their example ones. Two more. Ah, oh, came off the hook. You know, honestly, it doesn't really matter how fast you do them as long as you get it done. Take your time. Okay, so you go through the wider side on the hook. Then you pull it through left or right and then pull it up and get on the last little hook. And now you can just do that. Now that's the easy part. So now you can kind of make anything you want. So I'm going to make some room here. That's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make room. Clear out all this miss. We'll call it the miss for miscellaneous. Okay, and then I'm gonna at least do one of theirs, and then I will come back. Okay. So the first one they show is a question mark. Let's make the question mark kind of start here and then loop there. I'm just going to pick it up just to kind of show you. There's like a little lip here that that sits in. And that's how you basically connect them. But they're not really connected in a way that they're connected. They're just touchy. Now they do... Yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. I'm doing whatever I want. I guess that's simple to say. I'll just get you in there. I'll do this so you can kind of watch as I make my big loop. So because there's a little gap on the bottom of this because it almost sits on like a little platform. When you push this in, it puts the bottom one underneath it. So you don't really have to do much more to make that happen. Of course, theirs is much nicer than mine. But I think you get the idea. Okay, there, that is my giant question mark. Okay, so if there's a breakdown somewhere, we will figure it out. All right, so I'm way off, I'm way off to the left here. I think I've zoomed out as long as I, as far as I can, it's just the tripod is a little low, but let me get a couple of these on. Then we'll activate it. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to that bigger box. I wanna open that up, check that out. Okay, here we go. The launcher is in, and a one, and a two, and go. Perfect. Okay, the triple tower blast. Let's see, it's 109 pieces. You get one, two, three of these. You get two times bases. I don't know if it's two times blue, one green, or two blue and two green. 13 blue, 14 orange, 13 yellow, 46 little O-rings, 
One of the hooks, these two pieces, these two pieces times two. One, two, three, four, five, six of the ping pong balls. And then three of the launchers, but I'm not sure why they show that as a separate unit than that. Interesting boxing there, don't know. I'll tell you what though, we will find out like right now what is going on. We must learn. Let's just see. Maybe you need those big blue launchy things for, maybe that's it. So there's three of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones. The bigger ones look like they're gonna be used for the bigger platforms. So there's three of those. So I have two blue and a green. I have one, two, three of those. One of these. Two blue bases, two of these little small connectors, one green, so they were right, three of these flat, almost like foamy pieces, okay, and then I have all of these. So yes, now I have a green launcher, I have a red, I have a blue, and I have a green, see? And then I'm not going to bore you with putting all these together, but I now have a green little hook. And then all of these. Now I have plenty to put together, so let me focus on this. Now that I get this out of the way, I'll do some of this off camera since you've seen that already. And then uh, let me get this set up. Okay, so it looks like, well, I'm trying to get an understanding of what this does. What this is doing is allowing me to create my zip links and then the arm can drop down and set off another set of zip links in a little further location. So you could expand the distance so it'll just flip over and then, let's see, maybe they show you, maybe you can see it on the cover. So you see it, the, the green arm is here and it comes way out here, hits one of the blue ones and starts another chain reaction. Does that, uh, does that make sense? We shall see. We'll give it a test of room. All right, this needs to be put together. So let's do that first. This kind of slips over that and then there's this little connector pieces that lock the arm in place. Okay, so now that's going to go like that. And then they tell you you could do this one of two ways. You can make it so that it makes the circle, or you can go opposites. So if I want to go one one way, one the other, I can. It's up to me. I do whatever I want to do with this set. You do whatever you want to do. I guess I can do whatever I want to do. So it doesn't like slip in this way. It looks like you have to either go from top or bottom and push in like I did, and it kind of locks in and then looking at the bottom this has little the green has a little black feet so it's kind of like a stabilizer or stops it from squishing around and these look like they just pop in maybe not does it matter which way probably not. okay there we go okay so look at that that's going to trigger probably this i don't know yet i don't know yet i'm not sure let's figure that out and then there's these little foam things. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just uh, stoppers. I don't know. Maybe they're weights. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let me read and I'll try to answer that question for you. Okay, yes, they show connect green tower to green extension using green connector as shown. Green extension. Yes, and then the back side of each of these, they have these. They must serve a purpose. I don't know yet. And then, does it look like it goes a certain way? Like, does it have to go one way or the other? I don't know. It's not very clear. They show it this way. Yeah, I don't know what that green thing is. They show them on the backs of each one, look, see? Little blue felt, little green felt, little blue felt. It must have a purpose. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you should be able to do this from either direction. So if you want your 
one going one way and one going the other, you have that option. So now I have two going one way, like that, and then this is going to knock that way. So basically, it looks like something's going to have to flip under here to start it. So we'll see. I think I have it. If I don't, I will come back and verify. Oh yeah, see? No, blue foam trigger attaches to blue tower. Green trigger attaches to green tower extension. Attach foam triggers to towers. Okay, I did that. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's the way they showed in the picture. Okay, so I have that all right. All right. Let's see. Let me uh, check it out. A little bit more in detail off camera and then I will come back. Okay, have everything together. Yes, I did put it together correctly. All right, so what's going on here? Now the pictures and the box are unclear. This is the trigger. They give you all these top-down views, but never a side view, so you really can understand what's going on here. You want to put one of these in here, okay, and what's going to happen when this flicks up, it's going to hit this and then send that forward. And you want this to land on one of these, right? So you got to get this calculation down, so right about there, okay? And then you're going to put the open end way out here. Let me grab another one and I can show you. Oh, here. So the way this works is this is going to go completely inside here like this. So when it's hit, it opens it. Ooh, better shot. Like this. When it's hit, it opens it. So that gets hit, and it opens that. Okay, so now you get that into that. Okay, and then check the distance. All right. This is going to flip up and trigger this. So basically what I'm able to do now is extend, extend the action. So it's going to set off one. It's almost like a, you know, a domino tower where it goes up and then it knocks something over and then that hits that and that pushes that and all of a sudden you've got this cool reaction. I just want to try it one time. Here we go. So I'm down here. I'm going to press this. It's going to flip up, hit that, and then continue the action. Okay, it didn't do it. So there's a margin of error here. Looking at this now, I'm not sure why they didn't just make it so that this slid underneath this and you would never have to worry about that reaction. Let's just, let's just put two in here. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so I wonder if this is a little too tight in here. These seem to fall with no issue. This one seems to be a little tight. Let's flip it around. Yeah, these are really loose. This one is not. So that could be an issue. So be wary of that. So basically this one, let's just sw switch it around. And let's make this this side. Okay, see, we are learning. I'm learning. I've never played with this before, never experienced it before. Okay. This one feels, uh, I hate to say unstable, but you want it to have that unstableness to it, so it just falls. Okay, so now this should fall and hit that. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. So if your tower's a little sticky like that other one, you might have issues. All right, so now that I've done that and we've checked that out, and this is the super tower now, this one's going to go all the way out here. Can you see how far that is? I mean, that's way out there. Let's just try it. One. Two. Three, going this way. All right, and then a couple on the end. I'm gonna have to really widen the camera scope here. I'm probably just gonna have to build 
one structure and then lift that up. Okay. Yeah, because it's pretty far back to see the whole chain reaction. And you probably want this as straight as possible before you launch. Okay, here we go. It worked. Okay. Make some room, build something, and then let's check it out. Okay, I started building. Just wanted to give you some uh, insight as to what's going on here. So I'm going to start somewhere over here. I'm making a turn. It's going to trigger this. It's going to knock that one down, hit the blue pad, and come around, and I'm going to turn back into the green. So I'm not there yet. I'm just kind of getting this going here. Okay, so you're not seeing much here, but I think you get the, uh, get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to set this off. Now, I'm wondering if I could set off two at one time, like make this the start, then trigger this one this way, and bring this one to this one. Okay, so this is my starting point. Okay, so that's going to set the whole nine yards up, right? When I come into here, I'm just going to try to zoom in a little. Connect this to this. This is the fidgety one, so I'm a little worried about it triggering. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this move out just a little. I want this to go here. Oh, I don't think I can do that. It's kind of reversed. I need to make this do this. And trigger two at one time. Like that. Look. Okay. So that's my starter. It's going to set this one off and that one off at the same time. And then it's going to knock down this tower. So I need another one of these over here. And then I need one of these over here. This is going to fall and knock this, but I'm kind of stuck. I've trapped myself in making the loop. Ooh, I wonder if I can get it on the outside. All right, I can. Let's just shorten this just a skosh. I know there's a lot to see here. It's hard to really display this. I need to take this out and this out and move this in and this in. Okay, now is it long enough? Will this reach out? Yes, yeah, so that can go there now. Trigger that. I'm gonna really have to bring the camera back to make this happen. Here's the launcher. This is gonna start the whole process. And then now I'm gonna come back over here. And then this goes here. Oh no, that doesn't go there. This goes here. Okay, I'm afraid to move anything, but I need to test this. Yes. So it can be finicky. I'll have to double check everything. All right, so now I'm going to this side. I have a bunch still over here. I need to bring this into this to trigger the green one, the green tower. So let me, uh, here, hold on, make adjustment here. I need this to reach the green. So that yellow hopefully will flip up and reach the green. Okay. 
All right, so what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna trigger it. First, I'm gonna let this green get it out of the way. Okay, the only one I'm worried about is this one because it's the one that had issues. I got a few more to put in. Okay, I'll put ping pong here. Ping pong, ping pong. Ping pong here. Ping pong, uh, can you see me? I'll put a ping pong here. I'm going to go through everything now and sort of what you would call tweak all the little connections. But let me do that. I will come back now. Oh, that can't go there. That can go there. And then let me get one here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's all set. I have the closest blue arm. It's just barely hanging on, ready to fall. Hopefully it doesn't fall before the final chain reaction. All right, here we go. I'm gonna press this. It's gonna send these two out, knock over the blue, which is gonna eventually knock the green, hit that, knock that ball, and then this arm's gonna come and hit the other blue pad, and here we go, and a one, and a two, and a three. <laughs> Woo! It worked, very cool. I'll be right back. Okay, I've gathered it all up. I did not see anything. I went to go back to read to see if it says to store them without the bands. Before launching, insert launcher. Okay, it does not. To launch. I didn't see anything about storage. It looks like it doesn't have the full pressure. Like this is stretching the band. So in storage, woo, like that, the band is stretched a little. So I would just probably store them like that. So they're popped and ready to go. So now the two sets again. One more time is the... Zip Links High Fly set, which I showed you, and then the Zip Links Triple Tower Blast. So hopefully, I was able to show you exactly how that worked with the little foam pads and how it triggers them. I think I haven't actually watched the edited video, of course, what actually happened on the end, but it happened so fast. The green arm fell, but there was nothing there to hit. I think it had pushed it away, but we'll see. And there you go, it is Zip Links. Hope you enjoyed the video, I had fun making it. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.